Hello again, and welcome back to Conquest of Elysium 5, episode 6, I believe. Um, and so, I know I promised it last episode, but this episode I will actually take this castle or die trying. Um, so, uh, how to go about doing that. We're going to... How many troops does he have? Uh, just a small pack. I'm gonna send him in just to um, try and make sure that this ancient forest stays secure. Again, because they're not gonna be super, super useful in fighting this castle. All that would end up happening is the High Lord would charge in, take a spell to the face or something like that, or a crossbow bolt to the face or whatever, and uh, that would be that. Um, so I'm gonna again continue sort of my strategy of having my high lords with the with the knights patrol around and beat back the wildlife, while I continue to build up this force here, to hopefully be able to uh, take on this citadel or this castle. Um, they can't move this turn. He's finished moving. I can't believe I moved that monk out. I I really hope so the boar doesn't come and just end him or something like that. That would be very sad. Okay, so let's end the turn. Battle of the Forest. I can't imagine. Nope, nothing exciting happened there. Um, five boars. Let's kill some boars. Again, I just kind of want to keep this this tree clear. Oh, well, ambushed by something there. We'll see what that is, I guess. And you guys can start heading back in the direction of home. And same deal with you. Don't send a squad out to kill him. Please, and thank you. Actually, I wonder. Oh, no. Oh. Should really start using the hotkeys for that rather than. I'm gonna leave those behind. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to move him down to escort that that lone uh, monk there. Um, and in here, I'm unlikely to be able to buy anything. The ten archers would have been nice, but I don't have 70 gold. So, that in mind... Let's roll the turn. Killed a couple brigands. Killed a couple boar. Nothing exciting there. Let's have him go there. Just to keep the centipedes from taking it over. And we'll have him go there. And I'll just have them sort of hang out in the vicinity of these forests for a little bit. Uh, I am going to want to move in this way again, but I also want to keep the wildlife under control, at least until I can free up my main army here. Uh, okay, so we'll move that there. And we'll move those two back into there. Nothing exciting to buy. So theoretically... I should be making my move next turn. And then, if all goes according to plan, we will have a king's castle. Because... Got a considerable army there. We have a very considerable army there. I think... I think we do this. Let's make sure that the catapults and stuff are all in his army, because otherwise I know I will forget. 
and maybe I'll luck out and get a good mercenary offer or something like that first thing next turn, and I'll be able to pick up something else cool. Oh, go away, moose. Spring is here. Okay. Nothing exciting to buy. Do I buy some longbowmen? Or do I buy another trebuchet? I might buy another trebuchet. Okay. So. Here, transfer units. No, we don't want to go into the court mage. We want to go into Ulbrick. Give him the trebuchet. So hopefully two trebuchets, two ballistas, a whole pack of infantry, a couple of mages. I think we got this. And if we don't, well, then we don't. <laughs> Let's do this. To victory I should have this realistically I should if this doesn't take this out I it it better be overkill let's put it that way uh, let's just kill this oh he can't move he can't move nobody can move I guess that makes the rest of this turn relatively simple uh, Yeah, let's roll the turn. Oh, nice, my my uh, my buddy did something. Okay, let's watch this battle. Let's see what happens. Well, we deleted the princess. <laughs> oh, there we go. That's a good hit. There we go. This is why you use siege equipment. I wish somebody would take out that white mage, though. I mean, not that I'm complaining all that much on account of the wizard. Oh, there we go. Nice. Okay, this is easy now. There are no longer any... <laughs> so, overwhelming application of siege equipment is a bit of an advantage for the Baron. We have a bishop left. That's it. A bishop. Everything else was killed by... Oh, he made friends with one of my spearmen. Made friends with another spearman. I'm just gonna speed this up now. Okay, somebody shoot the bishop. Somebody shoot the bishop. Come on, somebody hit the bishop, please. Anytime you want to hit the bishop, that would be one. There we go. There we go. There we go. I think that's it. We took the castle. Nice. Okay. Well, I, like I said, it was probably overkill, but mages can be scary. Um, and we got some boots out of the deal. He got boots of the swamp. He can now do swamp move. And did he get anything interesting? He got the Vine Whip. It seems as though that would do better on somebody not a mage. Um, okay. Well, let's kill some deer. And 
Um, let's kill some centipedes. And so now, when um, I get uh, my next round of um, recruitment, free spawn, I am going to load them all up on the Baron here, and I'm going to go down and save up my money to perform a coronation. And then I will get to be the king. And I figure, if nothing else, um, that would probably be a good sort of cap to the series if I have to end it sooner. Um, and But yeah, we'll try to play through till, till uh, the Baron Imperialis becomes king. Um, now, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this into two squads. So the best way to do that is going to be to select him, transfer units. We will just unselect everybody. I'm sure there's a more efficient way to do this, but I don't know what it is. Okay. So now everybody's unselected. So what I'm going to do is select all of them, and I'm just going to split them in half as best I can. Uh, I am going to leave the artillery behind, just because it moves incredibly slowly. Okay, so that's him. So he's Manvel the captain has units now. Uh, and now we're going to want Obrick the captain to pick up everybody else. And that should do us. Um, like I said, I'll leave the trebuchets and the ballistas behind. Uh, again, they're just slow, so I don't want to drag them around unless I've got a purpose for them. Um, but... Other thing I'm going to want to do, I assume I can raise levies here. I uh, can't quite manage the High Lord, which is a bit of a pity. He'd be nice to nice to get another High Lord uh, because I'm going to be getting another batch of cavalry and stuff like that pretty quickly. Um, but not much else to do on this turn, I don't think. Well, I guess. Let's move these guys out. And let's move these guys down this way, because I do still want to deal with whatever the heck is going on over here. And realistically, I um, suppose I could hire some longbowmen in the King's Castle just to hold that. I have the money for it. Uh, but yeah, this is a reasonable force. Uh, and this is a reasonable force. So we'll see how we'll see how they do with expansion. Uh, if I lose either of these parties, it's not the end of the world. But um, and and I guess it makes sense to kind of touch a little bit on a strategy that I think works well with Conquest of Elysium. There tends to be a instinct with a lot of 4X games to kind of doom stack. You, you get all of your troops gathered together in one big old stack, kind of like what I did with the Siege on the King's Castle there, and we went charging in. Um, and that's effective, but with a game like Elysium, where you're constantly dealing with these things sort of nipping around your frontier, you, you just it's really tough to be able to. Um, I, I'd really encourage you to try and uh, split your forces up. Um, I don't think these either of these battles are... Yeah, we killed some deer, we killed some centipedes. Nice. Um, 
by splitting your forces up and stuff like that, you're going to be able to uncover more of the map. You're going to find more resource nodes. You're going to find more locations. And you're going to be able to uh, manage your economy a lot better and turn it into more units and all of that sort of stuff. Um, like here, with this. Uh, like I can I can take those with this army. I don't need a doom stack to do that. Uh, this Mott and Bailey might be a bit more challenging, but um, the these Zweihanders, yeah, no problem. They're 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 done. Uh, I'll take casualties attacking here, but I have enough troops. I can still do it without a, without any major problems. Ooh, there's a library. How many wizards here? One golden wizard, one magus. Well, that, that's not something that this little gank squad's going to be able to manage. So. Oh, a silver mine. 78 units. God, that's a lot of dwarves. Okay, well, we found a mine. Uh, it's a silver mine, and be good to take uh, but maybe let's let's try to deal with uh, if I swing these guys down and especially if I can find like a if I can find the tower that these guys are spawning from and take that then I'd be able to build up some forces and take that silver mine and that library um, okay fair let's go into the the ancient wood um, just want to make sure that that stays secure because it should be just about time to get more troops. And let's... Oh, that's three moose. Ooh, uh, hopefully I didn't just bite off more than I could chew. I was like, oh, it's a moose. I'll just kill it. Uh, three moose is more moose than... Yeah, that's considerable. I might take casualties. Should be okay. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed, but my uh, my vassal knight actually did something. He went and retook that farm for me. Um, so now he's sort of wandering around that area, which is kind of nice. I suppose I could also pull reinforcements out of the old tower here. I do have a captain I could recruit. Three halberdiers, nine archers. That would probably be the difference maker there. Snake some more longbowmen, too. And then... Transfer all those guys. Just leave a token garrison to prevent... Uh, to prevent them being overrun. And then, yeah. Next turn, I could potentially have both of these go in and try to take the Mott and Bailey. Though not super critical because it's late spring, so it'll be uh, reinforcements next turn anyhow. Um, okay. Three knights, 20 spearmen, three exotic troops. Stats. Oh yeah, this is that. Okay, not many casualties, but I did take casualties, so we'll watch it. See who died. Probably this injured Hestatus with the festering wound. Ugh, poor guy. What does that actually do? Heals at half the... Yuck. Don't need to pay a huge amount of money. Ooh, splat. Okay, so uh, yeah, I took some casualties, but nothing major. Uh, now let's transfer units to the Baron. Gonna leave those spearmen behind. Um, we'll take everything else.
and start heading off towards the king's castle, which is going to be pretty cool once that once that rolls. Uh, I could get two trebuchet for 75 gold, but uh, two moose. Yeah, that silver mine's going to be a <laughs> a bit of a thing to try and take. That's for sure. Uh, okay. Well, let's take our Hamlet back, or our Lawton Bailey. Oops, I ended the turn when I didn't mean to. Stats, I lost a Spearman. Uh, stats, I lost nothing. Ooh, an Alchemist for 46 gold, or Thunder Gauntlets. So I could get another monk, um, or alternatively, I could get this alchemist. It's a pity, I'm just a little bit short of being able to get the alchemist and the thunder gauntlets. But uh, alchemists are pretty cool. They, um, they, they, they make you money, which is nice. So they kind of pay for themselves after a while. But yeah, we're going to build uh, an alchemist in our king's castle here. Uh, oh, and I do have just enough money to get the thunder gauntlets too. Let's do it. I have no idea what they do, but we'll give them to Zeus the alchemist, for now at least. So let's take a look here at our alchemist friend. Oh, so we have we could go to Hades. That's probably a terrible idea. Um, and then these Thunder Gauntlets give him shock resistance 100 and a shock shield of three. Cool. Okay. Uh, his spells, he's got strength and fire resistance. Fire resistance isn't too special. Uh, if we had a demonologist as one of our opponents, fire resistance can be extremely useful. But or even a, a warlock or somebody like that who really relies on the elemental stuff. But if you think back to the very first episode, I, I kind of deliberately um, picked simpler opponents where I didn't have to worry so much about huge, complicated. Um, oh, there's an iron mine with a bunch of trolls. God, the, all these mines are just surrounded by big, nasty things. Okay, well, add it to the to-do list, I guess. Um, that's just a random batch of mountains. Um, oh, hey. Don't mind if I do, thank you. I'll take that from you. <laughs> so... Um, oh, somebody ambushed him. Okay, fair enough. And you've moved. You guys have not moved. Uh, okay, I want Obrick to take... See, this is where my colorblindness throws me for a loop. I can't tell who's got what. <laughs> uh, oh, he's got those Y. Okay, so this is my secondary. Let's give him all of these guys. There's really not too much need. I mean, technically, I don't even need to be running around with these captains. I'm just doing it that way more out of habit than anything. Oh. Dope. Did not mean to do that. He's going to retake that Martin Bailey, I think. Maybe. Uh, I'd meant to uh, just send him back up to the old tower there to pick up more troops. Um, but accidentally moved everybody. Uh, okay. Let's end this turn. 
there's uh senators got a stack here let's see how big that is 11 units you are not long for this world my friend Take that back. That was a dumb misclick on my part. And okay. planes there. I can actually get the this High Lord out of hell that he's been wandering through down here. Uh, I should take that watchtower just so I can keep eyes on uh, around the, the forest there. Anybody else? You're staying put. You're out of movement. You can go back to your house. And you can keep walking. Your slow, stately march towards the castle. I'm actually kind of... I've never actually um, made a Baron King before. So that'll be, that'll be fun to see. I think the other thing I can do is I can switch it so my free spawn doesn't go up here anymore. It'll go to the castle, which would be awesome. Because that's going to save me constantly having to ferry troops down from, from uh, home... So, or at least move home closer to the front. Uh, and that's it for movement, I think. Yep. Well, we took some casualties here, but let's take a look. So let's watch this fight. It's those javelins, I suspect, more than anything. Oh, and these guys are tough. Principes? Uh, after having served their contracted time of 25 years, the legionnaires who have survived that long and not proven themselves completely useless will be promoted to Principe. Like the Hestadi, they are armed with javelins and gladii, their signature short swords. So these guys are basically just um, really quite badass infantry. Uh, five strength, eight hit points, big shield javelin and a short sword. Uh, you compare that, see if I can find them, Veles, that's, those are the, the really low-ranking guys. Uh, Principe, Veles, oh, I think, do I have a Hestadi? Maybe I don't. But yeah, basically the, the, um, there's a hierarchy that, um, the senator's troops go up. You start with the Velites, then you have Hastadi, then Principe. Um, there might even be another one in there somewhere, but... Oh, he's got... Oh, cool. I didn't know this guy was a spellcaster. Solar magic level one, so he's got Sunbeam. He kills with the power of sunlight. Oh, and give me just half a second here. Sorry about that, uh, phone rang. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, some sort of uh, powerful commander that they have. Which is kind of nice that if I kill him. Uh, he did manage to set this poor guy on fire. So he's on fire, lost an eye, blind, debilitating wound. He's having a very bad day. Um, was having a very bad day. <laughs> Oh, that'd be really nice if I managed to make him friends. Nope, I don't make him friends. Oh, but I do get him. Okay. Well, that's not better than nothing. Mott and Bailey, we just sort of ran over some Zweihanders. Um, got the Morning Star of Flame for 62 gold. I don't think I could afford Oh, I could afford it if I wanted. Um, the thing is... 
I've got some pretty powerful, like these these guys are are tough, but they're not tough in that you want to invest a whole bunch of magic items into them, if that makes sense. Um, should probably recruit some defenders here. Just throw some longbowmen up on the walls. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're tough, but better things to do with your money, at least when you're playing as the Baron, than buying a whole bunch of magic items, I think, at least. Um, I still really want to know what's slowing him down. All these guys, unless it's his own debilitating wound... That guy's blind, but that shouldn't affect his ability to march. Feeble-minded. Um, increased morale. <laughs> uh, I don't see anything that's causing his movement to go down. I just don't get it. He's one heck of a veteran cavalryman. <laughs> I think he might have been even... I oh, know, I guess he wouldn't have been from the beginning. He must be one of the converts. Uh, okay. Yeah, same deal with him. I wonder what's slowing them down. Is it the knights, maybe? Probably the knights, honestly. Oh, there's a hamlet. We like hamlets. Hamlets turn into forts and give us more knights. And here, there's a single archer in there, so let's go and take this town. Uh, and... I do need to save money. If I'm going to do that coronation thing, I need to stop spending. So it might mean that this little hamlet won't get its Mott and Bailey. At least not right away. Uh, nothing interesting to recruit. I have the Morning Star of Flames, but I couldn't afford it even if I did want it. Okay. So, doesn't look like we're quite going to make it to the point that the bear... Uh, you know what? We're a little bit over time, but I'm going to do enough turns to at least get him into his, uh, his new house. Single archer is not gonna. Ta da! And so now, if we look at his special abilities, we can cast Coronation. We could also cast Relocate Manor. Um, this is something I'm gonna wanna do. Uh, I think I could also theoretically do it down here as well, but I think this is going to be central enough. I might eventually want to move it down to Iron Keep here if I'm pushing down this way, but uh, that's that's a thing for later. Uh, oh, I got some more trade, so I'm going to be able to get a little bit more iron now. Six iron per turn instead of five. God, what a struggle that's been. If it wasn't for these bloody trolls everywhere. Or the dwarves. Stupid dwarves. Uh, and... Oh, there's that... Yeah, yeah, there, there's a... Uh, there's that tower that's been spitting these guys out, so let's take that and get that under control. Uh, okay, well, happy with how this playthrough's going so far, that's for sure. I'm going to, uh, well, like I said, keep going until uh, as long as I can. And... Yeah, there'll hopefully be at least a couple more episodes after this. So, till next time, cheers.